Hello and welcome back to part four of my Kona gameplay. Uh, right now we're going to start off at the Lamouth house, if that's how you pronounce his name. Just trespassing. Alright, I don't think I'm allowed to bring my truck in. Lamouth's garage. Let's just take a quick look around. Perhaps someone was expecting an important call. In any case, that person's in for a long wait. Carl already noticed that telephone a services were provided in this area. These scribblings were undoubtedly the mark of a tormented mind. Something wasn't right in the poor mechanic's head. There's another broken uh, mirror. Apparently, in the mouth is a rock collector. Was he the one that put the rock there in the beginning? That didn't open the fucking gate? Hey, this guy's weird. Fragile suspension. The suspension has way too many parts. Taking a puzzle apart is easy, but putting it back together is another story. I patched everything up, but the tracks. I left them close by. I'm I'm misplacing parts of the machine. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hair dryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? Oh yeah, man. Roswell, Atamipec, same story. Large deserts conducive to extravagant follies. Uh, dear Mr. Millamouth, following up on your complaint, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim alleging the sudden appearance of a man who came from outer space on your village's territory. Manifestly, what happened at Roswell in New Mexico left a, left a deep impression on you. And we would urge you to consult with the physician as soon as possible regarding future potential complaints. Let it be known that the judicial district of a beat to be does not believe in little green men. This dude's crazy. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Ooh, what do you mean? What pins? Alright, so we got one up there. Let's see. All the way up there. That's the ice cave. And then we got one all the way down. Okay, so you see the little dip. Uh, shit. I lost where that's at. In the road. And that's the cave. Cave? I don't... Did we see a cave? I honestly don't even remember seeing a cave. Alright, whatever. Garlic to repel vampires or else. Alright, so we got a ski. Let's take a look around his... Some good duct tape. A bench. Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. What does that say? Mowing the lawn is unnecessary at this time. I didn't think so. There's a snowmobile. By following the plan, Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. I need two skis. Here's treads. Tracks, whatever. A whatever.
it's up here. Build a bridge. All right, that was fast. What is that? What's the point of like building that bridge? Another worrisome victim of this ice. God this one damn. seemingly petrified in action. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? But from what? The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. It's interesting. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's a fucking UFO. The shape of this machine, almost straight out of Star Trek was out of the ordinary to say the least. It felt like this thing could fly up into space at any moment. It was an indisputable fact that machines like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. You see that? All right, I got headlights. That's good, right? The week of October fifth. Expecting a nice spark plug that around the week this of week. October The plug 5th. should have That's been here by now. For. Does he have a mailbox? Boom. Here's a spark plug you ordered. Fuck yeah. I think that's enough, correct? Why is this like lined up like this? Something fishy going on. I need the last ski. I need to, and I also need handlebars. Did I miss something in here? Handlebars. All right, found the last ski. bit of gas, a new spark plug, and the key, and this thing would run perfectly. All he needed to do now was to find all that. Alright, just to find a key. He said like a point of interest was down here somewhere. It was like the edge of the lake.
So I just keep following it. There's a wolf. I wonder if it'll attack me. <laughs> I'm getting out the crowbar just in case. Carl never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. And they do attack you. Oh shit. The blood and the shape of the hole in the ground left no room for doubt. Someone had been buried here. Someone whose life had been taken with blunt force. Where was the body now? The Why had it been buried, only to be dug up later? Carl felt as though he was shrouded in fog. It's like those weird... <clears throat> those weird footprints just like circle it. Fire starter. Right, dude, these clothes come in so much handy, man. Mm. You'd be like dying without it. I want to see what's up here quick. Alright, I guess nothing really. That's kind of depressing. That large antenna in the middle of the path. Undoubtedly ideal in attempting to communicate with little green men. Was quite awkwardly placed. There had to be a lever to control it. Maybe behind it. Carl would have to figure out how to reach it. The electric terminals appeared to be linked together. But for what purpose? Okay, I figured out uh, the puzzle uh, key puzzle. All you have to do is... Make sure this one, up on the top right, if you're facing out this way. You have to make sure the top right one has the positive facing down. This one down here has to have negative facing to the left. And this one has to uh, have positive facing towards the right. And then over here is left untouched with positive facing north. And then the gate will open. Open sesame. At last, so big an effort for an oh so tiny piece of metal. What is this? Carl rejoiced at the unexpected source of heat, but not as much as his freezing hands. All right, we're gonna take a quick look up here because this is like freaky. Huh. Alright, nothing's up there. <laughs> Waste of time. Alright, now we got this snowmobile key, we could just head back.
the mouth's got a rage. All right. All right. Hopefully, we can finally use this thing. Oh, baby. Hey, why is it shut? If some daring person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to end this part here. Uh, if you like what you've seen and you want to see more, like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.